Oh, dude, look at this horse. Now that is a stack of bone. Seven. Cool. Not tip set, baby. Packing out the bone tonight, Todd. On the board, baby. In 2008, we were able to capture these trail cam pictures, and as you can see, he was one of those monster five points that will catch anybody's eye. He was able to make it through the hunts that year, and in the early spring of 2009, we were able to relocate him and wait for his headgear to hit the ground. Our good friend Jeff Peterson and his brother-in-law were able to pick up his sheds that year. In the early spring of 2010, he showed up again looking better than ever. This video clip is all it took to keep us determined to find his sheds that year. Let's catch up with Reg and he'll take us through the next couple of weeks as he follows this bull up until the day he sheds. Here I am uh, watching the bull I've been trying to find for about a week now. Finally found him tonight. He's a uh, just a giant five point. I mean, just unbelievable five point. I got some incredible video and pictures of him earlier this winter. Uh, I'm gonna try to watch him for the next few days off and on when I can, but uh, he's an awesome bull and I'd love to freaking pick his horns up. Haven't had the greatest luck going on this year yet, but uh, hopefully he'll break the ice. So. Stay tuned. I hope I get them. These adapters are freaking just amazing. Just hooks right to your scope. We'll check that out. And look at that video I'm shooting on me right now. I got a little. HD little cannon. This is this is freaking incredible. I've uh, I've been watching this bull for about two weeks now. Uh, he's just an incredible bull, a monster five point. You don't see bulls that look like this very often. Uh, I just got hours in this bull watching him this winter hoping he's gonna, I was gonna get lucky and he was gonna shed where I could find him and uh, have a good idea where they were so I could find him. And uh, I showed him tonight and uh, he's got one horn. It's, oh my God. this is flipping sweet. I'm gonna get some awesome pictures tonight. I'm gonna sit right here and uh, just watch him shed that one side, so. This is gonna be a sweet night, baby. He's got one or baby. I'm gonna hold the scope cam up to the spotter right here, and we're gonna get some sweet video. Watch this. This is absolutely unbelievable. I just flipping had it, my camera on him, filming him. Paused it to do some settings and stuff while he had his head in that mahogany. And that flipping thing just came off on my camera. I don't know if I got it on record, but I'm gonna show you. It's his horns laying right next to him. He just, I just watched him shed that flipping horn. I cannot believe it. Watch this.
was flipping unbelievable. I showed up right here 10 minutes later. The bull I've been watching for two weeks has one horn. Two minutes later, after I'm while I'm recording him, he sheds the one side. <laughs> that was unbelievable. I told you it was gonna be an unbelievable night. I'm freezing. That that horn's laying over there on the side hill. I'm not gonna go get it for a day or two. Let the bulls regroup and leave the area. They're heading up the side hill now. I've been watching them for about two hours. God, uh, one of the bulls that was with him went up to the horn and started licking it. It was pretty cool. Uh, that's, that's just an awesome bull, and I'm going to get some sweet pictures of him on the ground for you. And it's going to be awesome when I go down and pick him up in a couple days. So stay tuned because there's a lot more to come. Well, uh, here we are back. Going to go pick up this big bull's horns today. It's, uh, it's been about two days, close to 48 hours now. And the sun hit yesterday hard, melted off a bunch of this snow behind me, you can tell. Uh, I hope they're as big as I think they are, so let's go get them. Dines down. <laughs> Dines down. <laughs> big five points. Oh yeah. Look at that. There's my two horn hounds I had to bring along today. A lot, a lot of days and hours scouting watching this bad boy waiting for him to shed. This gob's a mass, I mean. These things are giants. After checking our trail camera in the summer of 2010, we were excited to find that this Monster 5 was still putting on the inches. This bull was harvested later on that fall. <laughs> 